Hello, Tempest here. Welcome to the Ten Man Normal Your Sarge of the Unsleeping, the second or third boss in the new raid instance. Your Sarge requires two tanks as he applies a stacking debuff on his current target, so tanks will need to taunt off of each other. We found two to three stacks easily manageable. Your Sarge's real difficulty comes from the oozes he will summon throughout the fight. The tactics vary according to which oozes you get, so let's list them first. On normal mode, your Sarge will summon three oozes at a time out of six possible ones. These are purple, green, yellow, red, blue, and black. While the oozes are being summoned and walking to the boss, the boss will be unable to move or attack. While he can take damage in this phase, he is not the priority. When the three oozes spawn, you have a chance to kill one and only one out of the three, as once one dies, the others become immune. This is where it gets tricky, as you need to decide which one to kill out of the possible three. Once these oozes reach the boss, they will grant him one ability per ooze. The purple ooze allows your Sarge to cast Deep Corruption, which will deal huge raid-wide shadow damage for every fifth healing or absorption effect on the target. This means you want to be using a few big heals to avoid detonation as much as possible. Death Knights and even Warriors, your death strikes and absorb effects do not seem to trigger the effect. The green ooze gives the boss digestive acid, which causes him to damage random raid members and all allies within 4 yards of them for 60,000 damage. So if the green ooze lands on the boss, everyone needs to spread out at least 4 yards apart. The yellow ooze. This will cause Yorge Large to hit 50% faster and use Void Bolt twice as much. This also causes the Void Bolt to have its initial damage applied as an AoE effect. However, its current target will still be the only one taking the stacking debuff. Raid damage is heavy, so stack up for AoE heals, and that should help a lot. The Red Ooze causes your Sarge to damage three players, with the damage increasing the further away the targets are from the boss. So everyone needs to stack up as close to the boss as possible to avoid as much damage as possible. Blue Oozes will cause your Sarge to create a Mana Void. Mana Void will suck up all the Mana it uses mana, and all DPS need to swap to and kill the Mana Void as fast as possible, as upon killing it, all the absorbed mana is spread between all Mana users within 30 yards of its death, so Mana users need to stand near it when it dies. Using survival cooldowns helps during this phase, as healers will be very low on mana and only able to heal with what they regen. Finally, the Black Ooze. This will cause your Sarge to summon the Forgotten Ads. These will fixate on random raid members using the Psychic Slice, which will do 35,000 shadow damage, so everyone should stack up and use AoE to move the ads down, while healers use AoE healers to keep everyone alive. The strategy you employ depends on what oozes you get. So, say the boss is green and red, then you need to keep 4 yards apart while being as close to the boss as possible. To make things easier, there are general priorities which most groups use. However, kill priorities vary depending on your composition. Most kill green, then yellow, then purple. However, our group found it easiest to kill purple, then green, then yellow, but similar strategies may work just as well. Please feel free to click the subscribe button in the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I wish you the best of luck with your kill.